Hey guys, I am Andy and it is Whiteboard Wednesday where we unpack information that helps your church. If you could do us a huge favor, please like and share this video so we can continue putting out content like this for you guys every single week. So today I am here with Wes, who is our resident SEO expert. Using his SEO knowledge, he has helped hundreds of churches with their websites rank better on Google and just other search engines like that. So today he is going to be talking to us about what exactly is SEO. So Andy, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Basically, it's the process of optimizing your church website so that you will rank higher on search engine result pages, thus driving more traffic to your website. So if someone's trying to find a church to go to and they get online, they're gonna go to Google or one of these search engines, Yahoo, Bing, and they're gonna type in probably something like churches in your city name. And hopefully what happens is your church website has some SEO done to it so that it's gonna rank higher in those search engine results because people don't really click through pages very much. Basically, if you don't show up on the first page, your chances of getting a visitor are very, very slim. I mean, if you're on page six, you're, nobody's gonna go to your Sorry, website man. there? No. Sunday is gonna be very empty. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, so Wes is gonna talk to us about some myths. I know I know we've all heard things like, hey, just do this one trick on your website and you know, you'll be on page one no question right away. So we know we know that's not true. So uh, walk us through some of these myths here that we've yeah. put together. So basically Google's algorithms they use to determine your site ranking have changed tons just in the last several years. I mean, as technology improves, as Google gets smarter and they update their algorithms, things change. So things that used to work don't work anymore. So there's a lot of myths that are still hanging around about SEO. So first of all, let's look at this. Myth number one. I did SEO on my site a couple years ago, so I'm good. And it's really a myth. We're gonna say no on that one. You know why? Because things change. I mean, uh, technology changes. Like we said, Google gets smarter. Things change. And an example for this would be, for instance, uh, recently Google did a uh, update called Mobile Get In, which means that um, if you if your site's not optimized for mobile devices, it's actually gonna rank lower when people search for you on their phone or tablet. So. You can't just do it once, walk away. You have to continually do this and keep up with it year after year or even really month after month wow. if you want to be super on top of it. So that's myth number one. Not a set it and forget it. No, it. <laughs> you got to kind of keep up with it. So number two, stuffing your website with keywords is good for SEO. This is one of those things that kind of used to work, but it doesn't work anymore. It's actually a black hat method now. It's a bad thing, and Google can actually penalize you for it. So you don't want to just stuff in all kinds of uh, keywords in your metadata and on your page, you know, over and over and over again. It says your church name, your church name, and your city name, and your city name. And it's not even, it just looks weird. It's just a bad idea. It used to work many, many years ago. Google's way smarter than that now, and they're actually going to penalize you for that. So not only does it look weird, but you're just, it's its bad all bad around. Bad idea. Do, yeah. Myth, don't do it. Don't do it. Number three, owning multiple domain names will help you rank higher. And that's actually a myth. It's not true. So, um, for instance, some people will buy, um, let's say you have, you know, faithcommunitychurch.com, and then they also see, oh, I can get .net, .org, .biz, .info, .all kinds of stuff. <laughs> That's cool, it may help you protect your brand so no one else can buy those, but it's not gonna help you rank any higher. Even if you have 50 different domain names, it's not gonna help you rank higher. What if you have domain names that go to that, so it's not exactly faith community by or church.com, but what if it's like church.com and then, then it like forwards to that? Will that no, help? Sorry. No, sorry. That doesn't help either. Not gonna okay, help you. Got it. Just so. kinda find a good one, stick with it, and that's your best shot. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna cross that one out too. Number four, using a domain containing keywords will boost my rankings. This one I'm gonna say is almost entirely false. There's maybe a small argument you could make, but it, this is another one of those things. It used to be you could buy something like, um, you know, we're in Fresno, so churchinfresno.com, and all of a sudden, boom, you'd be number one when someone searched for church in Fresno. That doesn't happen anymore. Google has updated their algorithms. That's not gonna help you. So if you think you're gonna rank super high just because you have keywords in your domain name, it's not gonna happen. We're gonna cross that one out as well. So last one, number five. This one SEO trick will really help your SEO. And there's no silver bullets. The truth is Google has said that there are over 200 ranking signals when it comes to SEO. So there's wow. a ton of different things that you can work on and improve. And as we said before, it's always changing. Things, technology uh, improves and different things happen. So there's not one silver bullet. You gotta kind of 
consider everything as a whole. Perfect. So uh, one other thing I wanted to say is as we cross that out, these are things we shouldn't do, but coming up a little bit later, I don't know when we're going to do it, but we're going to do one about what are some things we can do to help SEO. So not just the bad stuff, but we will be giving you guys the good stuff as well. So thank you for kind of sharing this and putting this together for us, Wes. I know to me, just with my SEO knowledge, it was very helpful. And uh, we hope it was helpful to you guys as well. Uh, just once again, if you could do us a huge favor, if this was helpful to you, please like and share this video to kind of get this content out just for other people that may have found it helpful. And this was Whiteboard Wednesday. We are signing off.